Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the women's NBA games that happened on May 24th. And there was actually only one game this day, and this was the Indiana Fever playing against the Los Angeles Sparks. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a little breakdown of both teams before I start talking about this matchup for this game. So the Indiana Fever, as everyone knows, they had the overall pick, first overall pick of the draft, and they um, got Caitlin Clark, the point guard from Iowa. Um, you know, they were talking about her selling out games for them, you know, being, the, you know, they were really looking forward to their season. Um, obviously, she did not have a great start this season. She's still trying to find her shots. You know, they're still trying to fix the one thing they are, they did say previously in the games that they're trying to limit the shots from her because of obviously it doesn't look so good and it's that situation up from the three point line and from field goal attempts. Um, so that's one thing they are trying to work on. Um, the Anna Fever have many first overall picks, you know, um, throughout the season, but they're a team that just doesn't have much of the leadership of really like vet leaders that are able to help them through their times of losses or through those times of plays where they need to come together and, you know, have a discussion of during gameplay of during these games. Um, they have Aaliyah Boston, who's been a very well-known player. You know, she was an overall pick last year um, from South Carolina. They have Melissa Smith, and they have Lexi Hall. They have Kelsey Mitchell, who is very well-known in the league. They have Erica Willier, Erica Rill Willer, sorry, who was an undrafted player that played in the All-Star game previously previous years ago um you know she's only you know you know been you know showing everyone you know that she, they messed up not drafting her and then they have um you know there are other players that have led um you know key part key parts for them for this team um, you know, obviously they've struggled, you know, in the season, you know, because yes, you have your young team and yes, you have talented players, but whenever you go against teams that have vets that have been playing together for more than two seasons already, and they have that chemistry and that history already built up for them, it's hard to, you know, perform well, I wouldn't say well, but into your own team's fitting, you know, like when they play against teams like the Connecticut Suns, Las Vegas Aces, New York Liberty, um, who, what other teams can I say? Phoenix, Mercury, you know, um, you know, just overall, there's a bunch of teams, you know, that I haven't seen already that, you know, they have a lot of bets on their team, a lot of teams not even if they're vets, but they have that chemistry built in together because they've been playing together for a couple seasons now. So it's going to be hard for a young team like an Indiana Fever. Um, so they played against the Los Angeles Sparks. The Los Angeles Sparks lost Nika Agumake to, um, you know, the Seattle Storm in the offseason with her free, free agency contract. Um... So they had a step, you know, they have two rookies, you know, of Cameron Brick and who was drafted number two overall and Rakia Jackson, R R R R Rakia Jackson um, drafted fourth overall. Um, and, you know, they have been very well known, you know, Cameron Brick is in the starting lineup for them. You know, when Nico Gumake left, they said who was going to bring in those 20 25 points a game so that's something that they definitely um you know were trying to find the pieces together they've had they have players like you know they have a good stack team derrick hamby has been stepping up for them they have um lexi brown you know that's on the team um so they're you know trying to you know put the pieces together for themselves so um in this game the Indiana Fever would get their first win on the season and win this game 
78 to 73. Um, they would now be one in five on the season, and this, with this loss, the um, Los Angeles Sparks would now be one and three on the season. Um, it was a close game. It was only a five point win. I mean, I don't mean it was only, but I'm just like stating that it was a close game. You know, this game was definitely back to back every point of the game. Um, you know, like I said previously in my other, you know, videos of break, breaking down these games, a lot of these games have been very close wins. So every team is putting up their fight. You know, they're playing until the fourth quarter ends. They're putting up their fight every single game. You know, because none of these games are like a dramatic blowouts. They're all close games um, in the end. So the highest scoring player for the Indiana Fever in this game was Kelsey Mitchell. She had 18 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists in this game. Um, she definitely brought that, you know, vet leading role. Um, I feel like, honestly, Mitchell's going to have to be that vet leading role for them, you know. Um, she started off in the season not starting, which I was honestly surprised about. Yes, you have a player like Caitlin Clark already in the game, but when you have the experience and like that years of Kelsey Mitchell on your team, well, she should be, you know, a player that should be playing beside Caitlin Clark to lead her in those moments where she has a turnover or she misses a shot and she's like frustrated with herself. So she has, um, so she's in the game to help, you know, Caitlin Clark not to get overwhelmed with herself or get mad at herself. Because that's whenever, you know, young rookie players start to really stop shooting the ball. They start passing it more or not looking for their shot or start to have more tone or turnovers. So that's one thing in the beginning of the season I was really looking at when Kelsey was so, yeah, she was coming off the bench fighting points, but is definitely where I feel like this should have been a starting lineup because she's going to bring in those really clutch shots and those impact moments of that for the leading role for the team. Um, so the newcomer score was Caitlin Clark, and she had 11 points, 10 rebounds, and 8 assists. So, you know, in their first win, she did not have 20 points. You know, that's one thing um, that you would, you know, expect if it was a, her in college. But, you, you know, she had 11 points, 10 rebounds. She almost had a triple-double, and she was two assists away from a triple-double. You know, that's, you know, crazy. You know, it's crazy how it happens. But, you know, um, that's what, you know, it, like, but, like, in those situations, too, like, people put so much pressure on these young rookie players. They expect so much for them going into the women's NBA because, they had such a not, nothing to drop you know talk down on them or anything like that such a great college career of each of these players but y'all that people people expect so much for them you know they are you know still it's like almost moving into a new home and starting a new school and you know having to feel for everyone yes they're in they're like the this is well this is only the fourth game of the season for the Sparks, but this is the sixth game for the Indiana Fever. But like, they're still getting comfortable. They're still building those relationships with each other. They're still building that chemistry and building those bonds of, you know, being able to play on the team. But, you know, she doesn't have, Kayla Clark does not have to score 20 points a game for them to win, you know? She scored 11 points, got 10 rebounds, was there, you know, three rebounds, had eight assists, was facilitating the ball, you know, being the point guard that she is. You know, um, maybe she, I will say yes, she did take a lot of shots, but not all of them went in. But, like, you know, that, that should be a high moment for her. You know, she scored 11 points, but they still won, you know. Um, the Los Angeles Sparks, the highest scoring player was Derrica Hamby, and she had 18 points, 12 rebounds, and 7 assists. Derrica Hamby was 3 assists away from a triple-double herself. Um, and Derrica Hamby has not been, she's a power forward for them. She basically... Um, at some point when Cambridge is not in the game, she's almost like the center for them. She's definitely been stepping up this season. Honestly, if you could put her in the category of most improved player, I would definitely have her in there too. Um, you know, because she's definitely been putting the points up for them, being there defensively, and facilitating the ball, finding her team shots, you know. Um, and bringing in those vet leading moments for them whenever, you know, Los Angeles is, you know, really needs that in moments of the game. 
and their newcomer to base score, Rakia Jackson. Rakia Jackson is coming off the bench, and she put up 16 points in this game. And she had two rebounds, and she shot five of seven from the free throw. Uh, sorry, five of seven from field goal attempts, and two of three from the three-point line. Let's just say this is a player that most people probably would not put her in the category for rookie of the year, but she is going unnoticed, and people are gonna need to talk about her more because she is definitely I would put her in that category for rookie of the year. Um. You know, and later on in the season, probably like middle of the season, I'll come back and tell you guys who I feel like. I'll probably give you like maybe my five top five rookie players who, um, I'll do a breakdown like who I believe is in the top five, five players that could be rookie of the year and five players who could be, um, most improved player and then five players for, um, MVP. I'll do that later on, but going back to what I was saying, she's definitely putting up points, um, like, I, I don't want to say nothing, you know, bad, like, against any player. Cameron Brick is in the starting lineup, and she's definitely still trying to find her rhythm that, and, you know, one thing that she's still trying to get over from coming in from college is her foul trouble. So, in most games, you know, she has found her way into foul trouble. But Rikia Jackson definitely been putting up these points for the Los Angeles Sparks off the bench, and it's only going to get better for her, you know? She dropped 16 points. That's her career high already, and it's only her fourth game of the season she almost dropped 20 points you know as a rookie so you know they looking i'm looking forward to these next games you know because we're gonna have to check back on that um but that is it for my breakdown of women's NBA this game that have been on may 24th subscribe to my channel so you guys can keep up with all my videos um and you know comment down below if you if there's anything you would like to see on my channel i'm open for discussions um, if there's a team or sport that I'm not already talking about that you guys would like me to talk about, I'll be happy to do so. Bye, guys.